What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and a pretty big update in the Juicy Sommelier case. That's right. If you've been following everything, uh, I believe it was Friday, and I don't even remember all the days run together now, or Thursday last week, where uh, one of the greatest rug pull convictions I've ever seen in my, I'm sorry, sentencings I've ever seen, perhaps one of the best rug pulls ever, after Juicy Sommelier was found guilty by a jury of his peers a month or so back, he then appeared late to his own sentencing, which I'm sure totally made the judge think about being lenient with him. Uh, and during that sentencing, the judge absolutely roasted him for about 40 minutes straight before slipping in at the very end that he will be spending the first 150 days or roughly five months behind bars in Cook County Jail instead of at home in his multi-million dollar mansion in which he had hoped. Today, we found out that the Court of Appeals and uh, the court will be making a decision on his desperate plea to get out of jail while they look at his appeal. And there's a really interesting update uh, around the likelihood of that happening. This and more after a quick word from this video sponsor, Under Lucky Stars. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Under Lucky Stars. Under Lucky Stars makes beautiful, personalized star maps showing the unique alignment of the stars in a place and time chosen by you. Under Lucky Stars is a great gift option to remember an important moment in your life. A birthday, the birth of a child, the, an anniversary. All you need to do is enter the location, date, and time of your special moment you wish to commemorate and they'll show you exactly how the stars looked at that time in a beautiful print of a map of the sky showing you the constellations and locations of all the stars that were above you during your special moment. It's a personalized gift experience where you can design your desired star map by choosing from over 15 designs, your special commemorative message and title and size. The star maps are printed on museum quality thick matte art paper of 200 GSM and 300 DPI. It's gorgeous, it's durable, and it'll last for generations. You can get an additional frame of your choice with six beautiful options to choose from. They are the original star maps maker and their proprietary method of locating the stars is verified by NASA astrophysicists. I'm definitely gonna take advantage of this, the next gift giving holiday, maybe to commemorate my dog's birthdays, Huck and Ruby, or my kitties, or perhaps really anything else. It makes a great gift for any occasion and they're having a massive sale right now just for you, my viewers. You can get a 10% discount on your purchase. So go to underluckystars.com slash the quartering and use promo code the quartering to get your loved one a unique gift. That's underluckystars.com slash the quartering promo code the quartering or just click the link in the description below. Now, late yesterday, uh, Juicy Sommelier had been, uh, it, it was reported that not only was he in some kind of psych ward, but it was, he was strapped down, restrained in a bed in there. Uh, that's, uh, quite the, uh, the, the picture I would imagine probably something he would enjoy at home, but probably not so much in prison. Then after social media pressure and, uh, and uh, people literally calling the jail and things of that nature, he was finally moved to a new cell. This was last night. Juicy Sommelier, whose brother said he's been housed in the psych ward, is still in the same unit, but was moved to a different cell Monday when medical professionals determined another detainee needed it more. The agency said, I'm sure that was just a coincidence. The actor's new digs, at Chicago, Chicago's County Jail features a round-the-clock surveillance by officers stationed outside the cell at all times to ensure the actor is under direct observation, the sheriff said. Like other inmates, uh, the convicted felon is entitled to substantial time out of his cell when he is in common areas other detainees won't be permitted in the area, the agency explained. Talk about privilege. Everyone else there has to live by the same rules, but when he gets his yard time, everyone else can't be out there. I'm sure they love that. 
These protocols are routinely used for individuals ordered into protective custody who may be potentially at risk of harming themselves, their profession, or their no, or uh, due to the nature of their charges, their profession, or their noteworthy status. The safety and security of all detained individuals, including Juicy, is the sheriff's office highest priority. I imagine they have somebody watching him 24-7 recording everything he's doing because they're afraid that he's going to fake another incident. I could see him running repeatedly into the wall and then saying that he got uh, that he fought back. Remember the famous clip? Remember the clip where he said, more than anything, I want people to know I fought back. That's what he said, that he fought back. Against what? Nobody? Now, as of one minute ago, his attorneys say they're planning to appeal, appeal nearly everything that went on in court over the past few months from the actor's December conviction of lying police to the 150-day jail sentence. I'm sure that the judge, who already made a kind of passive comment about how Juicy clogged up the courts with his case, um, is going to love that. On Monday, his attorneys filed the emergency motion to postpone his five-month sentence as they work to appeal his conviction on five counts of felony disorderly contact. They will not get it overturned. His attorneys claimed everything, his life is at risk and blah, 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 blah. Now the big spicy update. The appeals court is set to rule if Juicy should remain in jail. In my, in my estimation, he will get out. That's my estimation. Now, let me ask you this. If you were set to do 150 days, all right, and then you had your appeal, which may be two or three months down the road, and you had the option to get out now, now that you've already gone through all the adjustment, you know, to get in there and deal with all that, to get out and then risk having to go right back in after three months, or would you rather just do your time? I feel like I would rather just do my time because if you're at risk of like, essentially, you're already in there, bro. You had to, to go through intake. You're doing all this stuff. You've already got a few days down. You might as well just stick it out because you're probably going to get released early anyway. But if they go through this appeal and they let him out and then they lose the appeal, he has to go right back in and start all over again. Well, he'll get credit for the few days he did, but you get what I mean. I would rather just do my time. That's what I would, that's my opinion. Now, the attorneys say they are planning to appeal nearly everything that went on over court in court. Now the issue of whether he must sit in jail during these planned appeals is before the state appeals court. And while the appeals court could take months to resolve, the question of whether Juicy remains locked up will be resolved much quicker. That's... <clears throat> That's because Juicy's attorney has asked in a motion to First District Court of Appeals to suspend the jail sentence. That means just hold off on it. It doesn't mean to get rid of it. <coughs> Excuse me. It just means, you know, hold off to a later date to post bond so that he can be out of custody during the appeals process and ask the court if they could postpone his ordered payment of $140,000 in fines and restitution of Kokori as ordered part of his sentence. Why? Because he's broke? I mean, is he going broke? The amount of money that he spent to have this defense firm could not have been inconsequential. Guaranteed deep six figures. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Now, he's asking to hold off on having to pay another $140,000. I mean, he's not that rich. The way his attorney sees it, such an order is justified because it's almost certain that Smollett would complete is a 150-day jail sentence, which could shrink to 75 days if they if he behaves himself. So they've already said that his now they've said that his 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 um sentence could be cut in half before the appeal on the conviction if the sentences are decided. Essentially saying, hey, we're not even gonna get into appeals court until and he's would have already done his time, so he shouldn't have to do the time until we can get in. I guess a reasonable request if you if you really think you're gonna win the appeal before the appeals conviction and sentence are decided they are also they also say 
It's important that Smollett be released because they are worried about his mental health. Wah. If he continues in PC in jail and are concerned that he could be attacked by their inmates. In an interview with the Associated Press, David Eck Erickson, a former state appellate judge who teaches at Chicago Kent College of Law, explained what happens next. First off, the court has to hear from the special prosecutor, Dan Webb. Webb was given until today to respond to the motion filed by Smollett's legal team, led by attorney Nene Nene Uche, who, uh, when that happens, the appeal will go before one justice. That single justice, Erickson said, can end things right there. If the one judge rejects the motion, that's it, Erickson said. That means the court is not even going to hear it. It also means that the attorneys will receive nothing but a short and pointed notice that the motion had been rejected. There is likely won't be any reason given or any statement of any kind, nor will the attorneys get to stand before the judge and even make their case. The only thing the judge will use are the papers that the attorney filed. But that ju first justice can keep things going if he or she believes the motion has some validity. Then the justice takes the motion or two other justices to review. The, the justice could call attorneys in to make oral arguments, but they could also just rely on the papers also filed. Two of the three justices must agree to grant the motion. If they do, then the attorneys will be notified that the motion has been granted. This time, Erickson said, they will explain the reasoning. If that happens, the appeals court can set Smollett's bond to or send the case back to Lynn to set the bond. And with that, he can walk out of jail. Just what arguments will sway the justice is, of course, unclear. But Erickson said what is clear is that the argument that Smollett will complete his sentence before the appeal is decided is a non-starter. That's not a legal argument, and the appellate court is limited to looking at legal errors only, he said, adding that while the motions such as the ones in his that his legal team filed are common, they are very rarely granted. Erickson said the, fat, said the fact that the judge talked over well over half an hour in sentencing somewhat suggested that he is anticipated that the sentence would be appealed. The standard that they, Smollett's attorneys, have to show is whether or not the judge abused the discretion in the sentence. And he said, and by sp speaking as long as he did and addressing his reasoning as specifically as he did, he, the Judge Lynn, was going to make sure that the appeals court understood why he did what he did and that he did not abuse his discretion. A rejection uh, could come in a matter of hours or days, and if the justices want to hear more, it could take a few more days to the decision, but they could rule immediately or overnight or in a week. Essentially, we don't really know uh, how quickly they're going to rule, but it looks like they're not going to, uh, uh, he's not going to win this appeal. Saying that there's absolutely no evidence and then having, you know, uh, uh, the mainstream media saying why jailing him is unjust. It is not ju unjust. It is completely just. There are people that are telling Beyonce's mom they want to destroy this man. No, they want him to do his time. Then you have, um, you know, people saying that you should be calling the judge. Like they're literally having people say um, that you know, regular citizens should be calling the jail and demanding the release of Jussie to harass the jail. None of this, I think, actually helps Jussie Smollett in any way, shape, or form. It'll be interesting to see how all this shakes out, and I'll be interested to see. Doesn't look like he's going to get his appeal granted, uh, but uh, I'll be interested to see what you think in the comment section down below. We'll talk to you again real soon.